Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in TNO The Last of Europe in which we're using a sub mod called TNO The Last of Europe The East is Red So this is a sub mod that tells us a little bit more about Mao Zedong or a different story about him So well, he's a supreme leader, he uh, gives us more political power, gives us more stability So we have the shock dream, philosophy of ex existence If you're about this stuff please go ahead Also I think this is basically, it's original version is in Chinese I'm not, not sure which dialect of Chinese but if you want to read about all this stuff, please go right ahead and you can pause the video as well. Um, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure everything about this, but I saw a new submod for TNO and I thought, you know what? Why not? So, uh, is there all that stuff? Second in Asia. Oh, let's go, let's go back up to the top. Oh my god, this is a lot. Um, so, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is a submod and I you need to have the. And I'll put the submod in the first link in the description below. But at the same time, um, I love submods for Tino. I love Tino a whole bunch. So if there's ever a new submod that has like unique focus trees and whatnot and stuff like that, please uh, let me know in the comments below. But uh, let's get through all this stuff real quickly. There you go. There you go. There you go. It's not just a disaster. There's a lot of lore. Um, and I'll show you that this mod is pretty well developed. I think there's up to seven years of content, I think, and there's like three different paths you can go. But for this campaign, I want to keep Mal the dong as much as we possibly can, just because he's Mal. He's a cat, so... Yeah, that'd be good. And he's a step above. Step above you, I should say. Uh, but yeah. It should be really cool to play as, as we try to get through all the stuff that people might want to read. I apologize for this. Let's give that like a, a minute or two if, if you don't want to see all this stuff. So. And then negotiations. Oh, stand out. Oh, well, maybe not. Arm groups. Well, it's still a work in progress, so. It's a new order. East is red version. Uh, fish, belly, hidden sword. So long to the people. But let's begin. We're, we actually started war. And here's a focus tree, too. So. Oh, we can't do any focuses because we're at war. Okay, then. But yeah, Mao Zedong thought. And also we have the, the panel of the National Congress of the Communist Party of China. Very interesting GUI, led by Mao over here. Uh, Kang, we can praise people, we can criticize people. And we can discipline them, so. Creates a national idea half a year. And the influence of the national development and political situation of the party will depend on which faction you select to discipline. When there's no national idea to turn over discipline, Act, disciplinary action. Best options available. It cost fifty PP. National idea. Maintain half year. Criticize. We also nerf. The, implement the policies of this faction. We can influence. Besides, besides, criticize by name will lead to some influence in our development. You can inspect the detail and praise. Um, okay. Well, and we all have this faction, the White Zone faction. Uh, they are revision of the formal Soviet economy, central faction. So there's this stuff too. These guys are not bad. Also, I didn't, I didn't read about Mal's faction, so there's Mal's faction as well. And there you go. And then we have the USSR faction, but led by some really happy, smiley guys. Look at this. They're like, yeah, not bad, not bad. Life is not bad. Yeah, it's just, you know, communism from the USSR. It's just, it's not bad. And then we have this guy. Deng Xiaoping. Li Zhanyan and Chen Yun. And I know I'm butchering these names horrendously, but, you know. So if you want to go that, please read it too. So we'll see what happens. But let's begin with this war, I think. Oh crap, there's more. Central People's Republic Affairs Committee. Uh Supreme Executive and Legislative Branch of our country. Interact with the Prime Minister, Mao's faction, wait 40, Democratic, 40, 70, 70, 20. Interact with the Secretary. Tolerance. Beware of making mistakes. Power. Secretary of Contact Democratic Parties and the Independent 60% probability of co converging or converting an objection to support. Both pose a 60% probability of converting one of them to support. Uh, oh. Expand period of votes. 15 days. Deduct one health index. Take care to rest. Uh. Leaves faction. Oh my god. I apologize, we're not even getting started with this stuff yet. Ooh, level no, 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 no. The Democratic Party has no relation to the PLA. Influence, influence. And Mal's faction is high, 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 high. Everything's very high. I led the faction to level of influence within the CPCE. This is twice in total. 
And one mental stress. Elevate faction to higher public faction. Five agree votes. Um, immediate repressive action. After passing this act, we'll unlock the national focus to deal with the rebellion of the Ma's army. Deng Xiaoping. Uh, rebellion of Ma's army, yeah. That's an audience. Um, major issue, ordinary resolutions. Major issue, oh shit. Okay, restore trade with the foreign regimes. Gain trace reserves. So that implementation of trade policies. Food price limit requisitions. Adding trace debt. Probably little debt. Slight reduction in growth rate. Reduction, slight reduction in inflation. Reduce investment budget. Integration of industrial machineries. Uh, seems like a good one to do. Liberate people's minds. Slightly lower implementation rate of corresponding policies. But you get 80 PP. That's not bad. Um, can I, I'll do this one. Should we implement this ordinary administrative resolution? There's no cost to it. Between 60 days, during the time you can inspect the decision panel and check on its effects. Oh. Um, major issue. Well, let's do immediate repressive action. It'll cost him political power. That's fine. So, right now, I'm not sure how this is doing. 70 weight. This faction agrees. It agrees. It agrees. And this one says disagrees. So, yellow is not good. So, I'm going to assume with all three of these agreeing. And this much would say yes. So I'm going to say that's good. And... Can I do both at the same time? Uh, after passing this act, uh, national, fuck, national, unlock national focus, we do the rebellion of the Ma's army. Um, so I guess we'll see, but let's go in. I, I assume we're going to do well no matter what. Since this is how it starts, so can we just go in? Maybe, maybe not. I guess we're not really ready for the battle. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. On the edge of the cliff. Okay. Northwest National Defense Front, China's last free land, the spiritual home of countless anti-Japanese aspirants. The thorn in the side of the Gao Zongwu. The thorn in the side of the Japanese is now facing a rebellion big enough to be buried in the Northwest. Yan has started the emergency votes process of the CPGAC. At the moment, the hall is crowded right in front of the podium. Mao Zedong, Liu Xiaoqi, Zhu Lin, and Lin are the comrades of the party central committee are stone face, exchanging words with each other to pass on more information. In a moment, Liu Xiaoqi stood up and cleared his throat. Comrades, friends, now begins an emergency meeting in the CPGAC on the Northwest National Defense Front on the disposal of the rebellion of the Ma's army. Hopefully we can hang under the cliff. You can access the panel. Cool. Oh, I just already did that, so. Um, we have factories. We need guns. And we need anti-tank, but that doesn't really matter as much. I want some basic artillery, to be honest. Anti-tank. Um, steam locomotives can wait. We don't really need steam locomotives at all, but whatever. Um, I need you to hurry the crap up. Seriously, what the heck are you taking so long for? What's this? It's a major issue. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, we did the rebellion. Mongolia issue party. Recapture Mongolia. Oh, we can either fight them or unify with them. What the heck? Rebellion of the Ma's army. Oh, support Wan Fu. Well, uh, in the 1950s, because of our party's radical initiatives, the United Front fell apart, and the various cliques went their separate ways, bringing severe diplomatic isolation of the base areas, making the war resurface. Our party's troops are not as good as they We must be careful. Um, stabilize society. That's good. We have the troops. Temporary. Uh, we could use some guns. I'm sure we could use guns. Fire the boiler. Burn red charcoal fire, and the arsenal will start working again. Recapture Mongolia. Like a radical way to respond to them. It's a complete replication of the Bai Yang government's policy towards Mongolia. The Mongols won't be happy. The Brotherhood. We could be peaceful with them. Buy an alliance. Oh, we annex Inner Mongolia. Satisfaction of all. Start to exchange, or do we just kill them all off? Ulan Batar, ransack the farm. We annex them anyways. We get sixty percent compliance instead of eighty percent. I kind of want a war. War. And we'll go to the issue with fine fish, whatever it costs. I kind of want war.
They say no. They say yes. Okay, so I'll capture. Liberty people's minds. Ordinary issue of major issues is that. So how about other issues? End of the missile crisis. Blowing wind. Also, we can't win here. We're going to do some funky stuff, too. This is not great right now. Um, yeah, this is really bad. Why does it say we can do well here when we obviously cannot? I don't understand. The sunny morning, the cold wind blew away the sleepiness of the people. Hanzong Railway Station, in a carriage, two square tables spelled to be a conference table. Covered the clean and painted white tablecloth, on which there were 15 sets of books. spring tea bubble kindling green tea jars burst with vapor. Three white ports and ashtrays lined up in order according to the symmetrical position. Only jar near the main seat with ashes and four or five cigarette butts. Different from the other seats in the front of the main seat, also placed a packet that smoked half a pack of Baoji cigarette factory paper cigarettes. Mao Zedong is a meeting here with the various officials of Shangxi province. They send across over the central government to directly convey his instructions to the local government. And two rows of heads look in unison at Mao's road face. I've spoken several times with the meeting of the central government today. Then I must remind you guys. Mao Zedong looked at the crowd sitting upright and lit a cigarette. Do not engage in revisionism, but in Marxism, Marxism, Leninism. The whole country is still waiting for us to liberate. If we ourselves change our mind, how can there be any hope of um, liberation? The people nod their heads, deeply convinced. Now, the base here will have to tide over the difficulties again. The difficulties in war do not need to worry about, but the production and construction can without your effort still. The same words must be united, do not split. That's all for today. You guys can get off. No need to see me off. Mao Zedong inhaled a cigarette and pointed to the guard in the carriage. Here he is packing things. You do not need to send someone to follow me. The crowd said, Chairman, goodbye. Fish out of the carriage. The sound of people also slowly dispersed. The surrounding area returned to quiet. Only the whistle whined low. The Mao Zedong stared at the tea and spotted ashtrays, crushed out the cigarette butts, hopelessly muttering to himself, Everyone hopes I leave early. Smoke one more. Oh, I smoke it, man. Retro control. Uh, but not quality, but quantity. We are the troops. Uh. Yeah, why not? After the Great War, the entire continent fell into the recession. The base was struggling. Poverty and prolonged war preparations caused unstoppable trauma to people. In addition, the armament and tactics are out of date and also gradually being abandoned. The party central committee is worried about the sudden response to the war now. I hope it's not too late for us to sharpen our guns. Well, hopefully not. You should be able to win there. Come on, man. This is dumb. Can you win here at all? Why? God, why are we fighting here even? They should have, like, literally no manpower, or guns, or something. This is, this is really bad. The armor troop is good. Uh, infantry division attack and defense. Cavalry attack and defense. Riding skill practice. Cavalry temporarily trained units were confused in their fighting methods and were destroyed at first touch. We go and seek training by war, train while fighting, and train the best from the best. Uh, reward of killing. Blank checks will only drag down the military discipline. So put aside false promises, treat soldiers as ordinary people who need to feed their families, and enforce the military reward and punishment system thoroughly. Anyone who kills one enemy can be reported essentially by the establishment and receive a reward of varying amounts. That's cool. Presumptuous request. As long as we get the, kill these guys off, that's... Oh my god, this is stupid. That's so stupid. A uh, Guji gang wore a full head of white hair and lay in a popu popular wood rocking swaying chair, keeping his cane in hand. Zhu, Zhu Longguang sat the sofa behind the coffee table who let the oil lamp emitting a dull yellow light heat illuminating the room in the faces of the guests. In the direction of the house door stood a, sh stood a shrewd, plump, short man with a straight back and a smile on his face. Zhu Longguang recognized him as Deng Xiaoping from the United Front Work Department and hurriedly invited him to sit down. Mr. Deng suddenly came to stay at my house. I wonder what he has to say. Chairman Mao asked me to come to see you two. Deng Xiaoping asked his guards to put the gifts on the tea table and move the soybean oil lamp to prevent the lamp from burning the carefully woven red ribbon. A good little tea, a good little cigarette, not a token of respect. Zhu Longgang got up to hold the gift Xiaoping pushed. The package is not large. Inside, I had a hard pastry-like touch, and a square box from the thread weave seems seeping out of a rich aroma of roasted tobacco. He immediately recognized this big leader to send what a hefty gift. Pu'er, group tea, and cloud leaves. That's kind of nice. Um... Gu, Gu Zhi Gang saw the blue cloth package on the table. Oh, clear to throw and said, Mr. Dang, don't worry. As long as the central government needs us to do something, we'll do our best. Uh, Zhu Longguang 
uh, Guang turned his words around and said, But if you don't make it clear what the mission is, we can't accept such a valuable gift without receiving any reward. After saying that, he pushed the gift back again. The two of you are not ordinary people among Democrats, especially Mr. Gu Gigang, Gigang, who is a highly respected, so many things will wait once you speak. Now that the party central committee is in difficulty, I'd like to ask you to support the party central committee in putting down the rebellion at tomorrow's conference. Deng Xiaoping took out several sheets of beige horizontal grid paper, filled with the dense italicized characters. What should be said is on here. I hope Mr. Zhu and Mr. Gu can understand the difficulties of the Central Committee. Gu and Zhu looked at each other face to face. Each understood and solemnly agreed to Deng Xiaoping's request, but they solidly resigned not to accept the gift sent to them. Zhu Long Guang picked up the package with both hands and wanted to step it back into the arms of the little guard, who dodged far away and did not dare to take it, or Deng Xiaoping forced down and watched the two accept the look before hastily leaving. Carrying a considerable amount of parcels, Zhu Long Guang did not rush to open. Lu Jin was to put into the inner room storage, which also restored many condolences. Tables, shares, boxes, and cabinets, carved wood and pe jade pendants, wine made by mineral water, walnuts and almonds. This time, add tea and dried tobacco. Zhu Long Guang walked out, walked out of the house, feeling both funny and a little bitter. Uh, every time it is the same, pretended to not be heard. If there is no hard change back to teeth, or back to teach, why let the Ma's armor be an excuse? Say so much for what what to do, what to do. Gu Ji just put the blanket upward to cover his old cold legs. Tomorrow's speech on you to go. I can't walk. The clin or kiln was quiet, and the only old rocking chair underneath Gu Ji gang was so creaking creaking. Live in others' homes, have to obey order. Now we'll do that one next. Recovery rate would be good. Infantry division rate would be good as well. Oh, that's not bad too. Besieging destroy. As rare as, as a rare mobile arm, cavalry is not main shoot, but if used correctly, it can also surprise and win. Get your butts in there. Come on. This is probably not the most optimal way to do this, but whatever. Happy at the end of January, though. As we a cup of water here, too. I actually made a cup of tea since we're playing in China. As long as everyone else is not moving, that's all that matters to me. We are at war. I wish we could enact war taxes, but we have no money. Reward of killing. I love it. Um, order charging. A tornado company. Through screening, we can finally work out a cavalry unit that can still fight, but this unique period of practice cannot be continued, but must be another long term plan. Come on, come on. Move experience. The bitter cold winter blew over the on side Kellen factory, dispersing the steam coming out of the chimney and the stars in the sky, un unlike the usual. The plant was still crowded and warm on New Year's Day, and more than 100 Kellen workers sat in front of the big screen to watch a political propaganda film. Oh. Not surprising, the familiar face of Comrade Zhang side, who had died 18 years earlier, appeared in the film, and a standard fluent announcer's voice rose ste steeply with the picture. We come from all over the world and come together for a common revolutionary goal. Today, the great glorious and correct CPC is leading a base era area of 29 million people across the Northwest, but it's not enough. We have to walk with the whole nation on the socialist road to fight for the liberation of the whole nation. In front of the impassioned picture, the audience on the stage looked a bit wooden, without any spiritual ups and downs. Some of them were just talking to each other in twos and threes, and some of them were just asking for tea with their buddies next to them. As the sound of the film became louder and louder, the sound of talking in the audience also gradually increased, and even the sound of hey laughter appeared. Zhao Da Hai. Watch the news properly, so do not uh, say small talk. Outside of the crowd, the center of sound of the plant director's thick, rough voice, chattering whispers, only gradually quiet. Quieted. The film was 40 minutes long and ends at 9 p.m. When the curtain went up, a big light instantly illuminated the whole factory building, shaking people's eyes. They could only sit in place. But at this point, the workers could not leave because they had to listen to the plant manager's final closing remarks. And the plant manager had already picked up the script and stepped onto the podium. Say, stay for a while. I'll say a few words and we'll break up. Or, well, well, then we can leave. Do not rob. Uh, this is a simple request, but our soldiers are not all saints. They need to take care of their families, too. If the army can't support the soldiers, then soldiers have to find another way to make a living. Such as taking some belongings from the homes of civilians, whether peasants or landlords. The orders can only govern for a while, not for a lifetime. Hey, finally, thank God we got them all kind of rounded up now. Thank God. And then... Recovery rate. Reward of charging. Anyone who dares to be the first to charge should be honest. Honor, but someone must prove it. I kind of don't mind having more cavalry, to be honest. These guys are definitely better. Uh, let's stream one of each, because they're both very good. Because cavalry is going to be very useful for us. Come on. Ma Zhuyan needs to die. Thank the Lord. Oh my God. And bells of public funds, oh boy. The main room is sprinkled with cold gray sunlight. The charcoal pot in the corner is sizzling charcoal. To ventilate the window was open. The cold wind to push the heat wrapped around the body so the people sometimes shiver and sometimes lose fit. 
An old man wearing a black cotton robe and a melon cap sat in the middle of an empty meeting hall, tucking his hands, shrinking his neck, and keeping his head down to himself to keep warmer, but of course, he didn't want to face those who were unreasonable in his eyes. Opposite the podium sat a row of leaders draped in cotton clothes and wearing cotton hats, each with a pen in front of them, a few drafts, swish reports, or records, other view process. The old man on the podiums are two meters away, but it seems that he's alone and small with no one to rely on after a short silent confrontation. The leader sitting in the people in the middle spoke up, Liang Xuming. Do you realize your mistake? The old man didn't even look at him, turned his face away and didn't say a word. Now he's full of thoughts about his experiences in the countryside as a field worker. Those tragic tragedies all accumulated in his heart difficult event. The sunny morning. Learned uh, that Liang Xuming and his followers is about to investigate the local commune. The county officer and the secretary with members gathered at the entrance of the village of Depond commune to welcome in line. Banners flying in the sky, flags floating in the wind, even some people are squatting on the village entrance trees watching every visitor. Some researchers do uh, on the ground were arranged for the landlord's compound dining rest. Each meal is a is small rice with fried yellow vegetables, a boiled egg, and as if the village never lacked food. Well, want to find someone to understand the situation must be carefully selected by the secretary. When asked next to a county government representative, the farmer who came to talk was full of smiles, eloquence, and told the perfect situation with a touch of discord. But due to the face of the representative and can't cross-examine, only to ask some light words to muddle through, is that real, the real situation? Uh, on a certain day, the old man pretended to go to the toilet and sneak out. In order to not let people find themselves, simply run the uh, Los ditch, walking five or six miles until the old arms and legs can't support and then him anymore, sitting on the side of the road. While pounding the lead like calf stomach, while seeing a pair of young men and women wrapped in old cotton jackets, white half scarf with a stretcher carrying a pair of children heading down to rush. Liang Shuming hurriedly pretended to ask for directions, called out to them, Little brother, where are you going? The young man turned around and saw the old man, thinking that the burden is. Uh, tired till his wife put down rest, turned his face and Liang Shuming talked. Uh, old man, we're walking to relatives. This year's drought, there's not much wheat, a sorghum, and the commune collected a larger pile. There's not much food for us. We want to put the ch uh, uh, the child to my give the child to my aunt and mother's home to live for for the future. Liang Shuming also wanted to ask how much food was taken away, but his wife is very alert, asking, letting him, making him talk less, too embarrassed to continue to talk. You do not have resistance. Seriously, admit your mistakes to the party. Why did you misappropriate the research bells without permission? The censors inquired and interrupted the old man's thoughts, but could not stop him from continuing to remember. Lang Shuming finally opened his mouth. I thought that since the money was spent, it was enough to draw a conclusion that all the food brought. A bot could be distributed without a handful left. So did I Chairman Mao's great plan with three red flags and the collectivization of agriculture? Yes. You sucker, why don't you open your mind? It seems that you're still rightist. Mencia said, neither threats nor forces can subdue me. 65%. Oh. This one, completing ordinary administration. So there's this one, of course, we capture. But how can you see the bigger, smaller one? I want the PP. Sri Lanka resigns. And happy March. How many men do we lose here? We probably lost a lot of guns. Uh, 1,000, 1,600 versus 10,000, that's not bad. Gotta save as much manpower. I mean, we are trying to, don't get me wrong, but like still. Hello. Okay, current votes. Oh, we got the political power. Nice. Liberate people's minds. Uh, is there anything we could do with political power at all? No ordinary issue. I mean, we could do stuff here. Discipline. Praise. What do we praise them? Every month you can only select one faction to interact with. When influence one of the faction less than three percent, the option will be disabled. So we got point three more. Okay, supporting Wu Lan Fu. Oh. What if we discipline these guys? Moderate conservatives, USSR faction? Let's kind of see what happens when you do this one. So it makes them go down, everyone else goes up. Also, here are the National Spirits. Hurt of Great Leap Forward. Overly Suspicious. The Division of the Country. A PLA in Urgent Need of Training, which is true. Japan's Economic Blockade. And the Unbroken United Front. But we also have, oh my god. Soviet Experts. Pioneer Company, which is nice. We have Cavalry Company, which is also very nice. 
strict military discipline, internal party disciplinary action, and moderate conservatives. Oh, we discipline them. So we get more weekly stability, better constructions, be less growth, but better cap. The factions under discipline reflecting on mistakes. And arts of policy. More do you do with political power, more st weekly stability, and more support. Less retention, more construction speed, more growth, more, or less growth, more cap. We all get educated in politics. Interesting. We have an extremely high deficit too, which is not good, but whatever. Um, if that's the case, uh, disaster relief. I kind of want more political power. Or you do this one too. Pioneer Company. We ground. We grouped veterans with long experience on the battlefield into a company or platoon, turn them into a sharp knife to pierce into the enemy's defensive line. Uh, what's the one that got auto completed? Oh, supporting Wu Lan Fu. You under this, please go ahead. Oh, there's Inner Mongolia too, huh? No unique push tree. Oh, come on, man. Mongolian Civil War ends. Okay, the new situation in East Asia. Everyone's gonna go in. Do not let them move. Letter from Xinjiang. Their comrades in Yan'an, after graduated and ba went back to Xinjiang, struck by struck by Xin Shikai's affairs. There's no chance to talk about revolution with Mao Zhu and in defeat in Xinjiang. Ya, all blame me. I'm deeply sorry about that. Luckily, the three districts revolution occurred, forcing Xiang to stay in Dehua. I took the chance to go to the south Xinjiang in day and night, assembled my old troops, and sought the timing to attack. However, what a barren land south Xinjiang is. Recruits were lacking a, or didn't have any training. Hope comrades in Kanan, Yan'an can help me. Uh, I hope. Uh, you reach victory, talking to Hua. Ma Zhongying, right in 1925, 1961, lunar year. General Ma Zhong, Zhongying is our friend. Turn and seize weapons. Strictly register the weapons loot. Fill in the record roll with detailed information on the place and time of seizure and guarantee. If it is a found unclaimed item, it needs to be listed separately, approve the price, and pay to the price if the owner comes back to claim it later. Um, party reform. Are recommended by local governments. After passing this act, a party will appoint and remove party committees by adopting local recommendations and unlock national focus. Party committee or designated local party committees. Um, by local governments. Recommended by governments. I kind of want to go this one. Designated Han Party Committees the local. I don't know. I could be wrong. See, now they're trapped here, which is good. You just take them out. Kill one to warn. Uh, surprisingly, the PLA has appeared in the country sides to find Rob Holmes in mass. Blame defiance, the party's discipline, military orders have been issued. If an individual breaks the law, severely punish an individual. If a collective breaks the law, severely deal with the collective. Come on, man. You don't want to warn. Stabilize society. Oh, it's time to break the useless wartime system, tense up and unite the people, and convince them that the war with the Mao's army was the first step to pry up the situation in China. Only Victor could uh, be could win the future of the base. Or whatever it is. Nice. Devise strategies. For a cup of tea, uh, light a cigarette, and the man at the desk began to carefully review the day's daily business. Although it's more or less egotistical, but every time uh, he inspects the economic situation of the base, or the government, Liao Xiaoqi will feel that the past 15 years he helped the chairman Mao and party to solve the problem, do some moderate but not thorough reform to give medicine and drops to the severely ill front. 
For 15 years, he was so meticulous in his political work that his position and reputation became so subordinate that many cadres began to put his name together with the that of Chairman Mao. Yes. Yes, Liu Xiaoqi, the second in command of the CPC, acted steadily unlike Mao's hurry-up, and in the 60s, when the base needed to reorganize its posture to deal with the complex internal and external situation, he seemed more suitable to, than Mao to be the leader of the front. In his heart, Liu Xiaoqi tacitly approved of such a view, but of course, only tacitly. He also just quietly did his own work, as the old sewing saying goes, of things that make a difference. His practical spirit ush ushered him more and more inside and outside the party, when he could rightfully come to the fore and take over the burden of the defense front as a new leader, not only for himself, but also for the party and the people. Thinking of this, the corners of Liu Xiaoqi's mouth involuntarily rose, and he smoothly turned to the last page and signed his name on the economic bill. Cool. We just need that last victory point, hopefully. Come on. We're almost there. Stabilize society. Additional armed guards. All villages and communes should be aware, be aware of the reactionary propaganda and sabotage activities of the spies of the Ma's army. Intensify prevention and investigation, and report immediately when they encounter suspicious people. Is that it? Hey, we got him. Oh, we didn't get all that stuff too. That sucks. We can do this one. Oh, man, we didn't even get. Oh, that would have been so good to get. More defense. I got more stability. would have been really nice too. What the heck, man? Bruh. Market and Bao Tao? Oh, not even the toughest period yet? Oh, God. Our uh, capture Mongolia. Since the Qing Dynasty, Mongolia had sworn with the Manchu aristocracy never to betray the Chinese Empire. The independence of Mongolia was instigated by a group of corrupt and backward Mongolian aristocrats after the Xinhai Revolution to establish a reactionary rule which culminated in the Mon puppet Mongolian frontier planted by Japanese invaders. Therefore, Mongolian independence was just a conspiracy of imperialism and feudal aristocracy intending to split China. The Mongolian People's Party was engaged in revolutionary struggle under such reactionary historical conditions and was inevitably influenced by the independence ideology of the ruling class, as the CPC. We should remind them to give up the wrong idea of independence as soon as possible so that the two sides can benefit from the unison or the union, and the two sides can harm the division. Doing such a complete replication of the Bayan government's policy towards Mongolia, they won't be happy, but we don't care. Oh, what is this? Uh, construction of the Hanzong. Um, got by the three flag, three red flags. People of the base area spent 20 years building a Xi'an and an impregnable fortress. But it was not enough. The North was still under the shadow of nuclear war. We're not afraid to anticipate the future course of the war in the worst possible way. The KMT reactionary regime colluded with the Japanese invaders to use atomic bombs on Babar of the base areas. Xi'an, the largest city in the base area, would bear the burden of the bombing. To deal with the worst situation, the party central committee decided to start the Hanzong Fortress Project within six to seven years to build Hanzong into a second central city of the base area. Once Xi'an was destroyed in a nuclear strike, the base had to function as usual under the command of the second center, city. The Chinese people will not bow to the atomic bombings of the Japanese imperialists. Repair it. We need to build a new Xi'an Hanzong Railway on the basis of the Xi'an Laozao Railroad, Lanzao, and refurbish the Baoji Hanzong Highway, which was built during the Republican era to expand the capacity for subsequent transportation of engineering machinery, construction materials, and other important uh, materials to Hanzong. 300 days. With the completion of the road and railway repair, the construction of the new downtown area of Hanzong will be officially launched. Yeah. That's really cool. According to the master plan of the late 50s, Hanzong will have six downtowns with different functions, excluding the old city already built. However, due to the obje objective reasons such as the withering economy, the project of building Hanzong has been delayed. Now that the war in the base area has subsided, we'll mobilize all available construction resources to aid in building Hanzong. After completing the highway and repair of the uh, railway, this project will be positioned to begin construction of a downtown areas, each of which will be constructed in 300 days. The functional focus of each downtown is not consistent, so please plan well. According to the overall planning goal, every two downtowns built will add one level of air defense artillery and radar station to the local area. Interesting. That's very cool. We capture Mongolia and later Ulaanbaatar. For committing to fraud, we should express sincere, necessary sincerity to the deceived person, hoping that our invitation will achieve the desired effect. And invite Zaidenbar to our base. Welcome! When Zaidenbar arrived in Xi'an, he was met by the CPC's leader Zhu Enlai, surrounded by a procession of flowers and laughter. A fleet of limousines then drove the delegation to the Great Hall of Shangxi, where a cordial and friendly meeting was held, and the magnificent Yan'an Hall and the preliminary cooperation was reached. Under the auspices of Chairman Mao's secretary Yang Xiangkun, Zaidenbar's delegation had dinner with the Yan Ministry of Foreign Affairs and watched an art party with Zhu Enlai, after which Zaidenbar was arranged to stay with the Xi'an Hotel. The warm hospitality of the Yan'an side made Zindenbal feel very good, but on the tr following days, the CPC ignored him and his entourage was not allowed to meet. As if he was under house arrest, he only felt anxious or anxiety. On that day, a note suddenly appeared under the tea brought to him. It was in Mongolian and obviously written by the bodyguard. The CPC was holding the general secretary as hostage to force the country to surrender. Seeing this, Zindenbal, in rage, immediately w pushed aside the watching soldiers and rushed out of the hotel gate, only to see his men on the steps confronting the soldiers who had come to stop them from breaking out, and a few soldiers with bayonets outside the compound fence rushing towards the door. And Zedenbal's interpreter kept shouting for a moment. Our general secretary wants to return to this country. You are not allowed to stop him. You have to wait to report to the senior. We can only leave when the senior admits. 
Seeing Zinimbal come out of the hotel, the crowd stop, tell them I am Zinimbal, Zeldimbal, and I'm returning to my country, all of you guys disperse. When Zeldimbal arrives, several soldiers do not dare to make excessive moves and put away the bayonets in preparation to make way. At that moment, Luo Uri Kin, Premier of the Secretary Department, arrived pointing at the noses of the skirmishers and scolded the party order to hold Zeldimbal, and this is how you accomplish your task? The clamor from the hotel slowly drew the citizens, seeing the crowd getting bigger and bigger. Ryu, Luo Uri Kin, felt the need to do something. All the sergeants listening to my order fire to disperse the crowd. Still in the sun, gunfire was deafening, and onlookers scattered in fear, but I do not know the soldier. Which soldier turned to aim at the Mongolian delegation? As soon as the word fire came out of Luo Rui, Rui's king's mouth, Zeldimbal led on the steps. Call the doctor, hurry up, ransack the farm. Farm. Or farm. Just past five, the rebellion of Mazar Armin ushered in a set of war. The transportation department was ordered to quickly transfer the horse, cattle, and sheep, critical strategic materials, into the Qinghai pastoral areas back to Shangxi without fail, and blocked the barn. Seal out the granaries in the area ruled by Ma's army, strictly prohibit the sale or circulation, and punish severely by any violation by loading the grain to the northern part or northern front to replenish the logistics. First policy, second policy, third policy. In the meeting room, the senior cadre sat in a circle on their respective sofas, each in a thoughtful manner, and the forefront hung at a map of the situation on the northern border of Mongolia with the name of Zedimbal replacing that of Prince Demchog Dongrub. Sitting at the bottom of the table, Zhu, Zhu De spoke first, trembling. Prince Dem Chug Gong Grub's army is unbeatable. It was our target, but we did not expect to let Zedimbal get a hold of us, so what should we do next? Someone took tea and someone coughed. Peng Dohai stood up and said in a voice like a bell, In my opinion, the target remains the same. If the king the the if the king is there, we'll fight the king, though. Now Zedimbal just the words are not finished, Lin Bao interrupted his speech. Peng old general said easy, but now the troops are in Qinghai, which can also draw the attack of the Mongolians, and then compare the two countries militarily. We cannot easily start a war. Han Xiang Chu got up and agreed. General Lin is a point. Zedimbal's army is no better than the Prince Demchagangra, but the motorization level is much higher than us. The proportion of automatic weapons and equipment is also higher than our army. And just when the war morale is booming, I'm afraid the victory is not easy. Then Lin Biao said, What else can be done? Peng Duhai asked. Thinking for a moment, Lin Biao asked, No war and give up the army. How do we go without fighting? Invite Zeldimbal to visit us and hold him as a hostage. Which is this event fired first before the other one, even though I should have read, I should have read this one first. Hearing Lim Bao's speech, the people began below to whisper. Zhao and Lai signaled off to be quiet, frowned, and asked rhetorically, Comrade Lin Biao, the diplomacy cannot rely on conspiracies, otherwise what credibility is there left for the base? But when the president ordered the recovery of Mongolia, you all did not oppose it, and now it's not working, and that is not working, it is tough to do. Suggest a more appropriate solution. I can't think of one. Chen Yi held up his sunglasses and said, I think we are recovering Mongolia and not invading, so if we can't even say that we are not convinced, we can simply refuse the president's order. Well then, Zhu and Lai held up his draft paper, indicating that he would take notes. There are now three ways to recover Mongolia. Conquest by force, political coercion, and diplomatic pressure, persuasion. Let's take a vote, a democratic decision. Please raise your hands by a show of hands, those comrades who agreed to detain Zin and Bal as a method. No need, Mao suddenly opened the doors and walked in, interrupting the vote. I've heard all of your discussions. The ideal policy of sending troops is too hasty. The conservative lobbying policy is too slow. Lim Bao's compromise policy is just fine. Let's, that's it. Let's not talk about anything else. After that, I turn and left. The crowd is speechless. Prepare the invitation. Bend the Yellow River, huh? Huh. Push forward. Accident. Unfortunately, the news of Zedin Bao's death order is each Mongolia. Oh, crap. Liu Ri King was dismissed, removed from his post, and imprisoned for his diplomatic tragedy. All the top officers of the CPC knew that it means diplomatically to kill the leaders of other countries. Trouble again. Oh boy. Oh! Northwest National Defense Front. Oh, we got a war of these people too up here? Oh, shnikes. Oh, no, we're, no, we're not at war with them. We annex these guys. We're at war with these guys. Oh, crap. That's not good. Ordinary re Okay, so we got the last one done. That's not bad. Uh, did we get any money or anything like that? Oh, we did. That helped out a little bit. Yeah, deficit's not great. Inflation's still pretty high, though. We're still doing off fresh off the presses as well. I like this. I like this a lot. Like, having ordinary resolutions of major issues seems like a lot of fun. Uh, trade policy, disaster relief. I like getting more political power, too. Let's get some more political power just in case. You never know, we might need it later. So, how many divisions do I have? Up oh, 9 to 11. Oh god, 9 to 11. No. Go in. You don't need to move fast. The cavalry's gonna have to be really good for this stuff, too. 0.26, a little bit less than 2% growth. We did help the dead out just a little bit, too. Um, push forward. The old saying goes, the line of 100 miles is half of 90. Sometimes the distance between us and success is just the last to tie a slam. Face of war must not slacken, must not be timid, go forward. 
Okay. The next one is Mongolia office. Thank God we've won the Mongolian campaign, now Mongolia is under the rule. Except for Vasilevsky, which is still in the north, and the size of the base is dealt with. However, Mongolia is so vast and so far away that it was difficult for the base to assemble such a large country to take over. So we entrusted it to the military and set up an office first, and then repatriate it and establish a local government when the personnel was ready. So we just annex these guys. Oh, this thing's over here. Okay, well. These guys are doing really well. Well, more enemy divisions, huh? Oh boy. Oh boy. Push forward. Well. Dalan Zagadad. Zadgad. Zadgad. Dalan Zadgad. I speak a little bit of Mongolian myself. Well, at least the debt's lower than the GDP, which is good. I love communism. Winner up and then down. In the death it's getting worse, which is not good. They are more motorized than us, but it doesn't mean very much. They can't do anything with it. Can you guys go here? Can you do that? And then sickle them, maybe? Should I collect all these provinces? Collect them like Pokemon cards. Or Pokemon, I guess, in general. That's not good. Sucks. Ulam Batar is what we want. Collapse of the Triumvirate, pretty normal. Shoot some planes, pretty nice. As long as we get there faster, then we can beat them here. We can still encircle and kill them all off that way. Happy July, everybody. We have got plenty of manpower, though. Now, it's a terrorist plot busted in Uruguay. Who would ever have thought of such a thing? Airbase themselves. It's fine. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good. Oh. One, huh? No major issue, which is good. Stuff still being built up as well. Um, can we praise him? We can discipline someone else. We can discipline these guys. No, we can't. Okay, Chris. What does it criticize? So 40% here. 40 went down by 26. Okay, interesting. Let's see what it's like. It doesn't even cost political power to do that, too. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice overall. Um, at this point, it was on Batar. How are you losing? They beat us right, which is fine, whatever. Olam Batar is ours, which is very good, and we got him. Not bad. Pretty costly, but that's okay. Happy August, everybody. Side and what is this? Must be just straight garrisons, yeah. 
All we need are guns for this stuff, which we have none, none of, which sucks, but whatever. Um, I'll go to the office. That'd be great. And then Siege 1 is next. Shang-Chi. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going next, but we'll try that. Oppose Soviet revisionism. Um, I like more stability. Uh, the people do not understand why the two communists are still at war with each other and why the base must annex Mongolia, so that we all give them an explanation. It just is what it is. Nice. Opposed Soviet revisionism. A uh, part of the Central Committee is determined to recover Western Mongolia under the Vasilevsky and even to tear itself entirely from the Soviet Communist Party. Then must find a reason to explain to the people. So perhaps it would be a good idea to characterize Vasilevsky's group as a clique, a revisionist group, that insists on believing in Bukharin as orthodoxy. Although internal com commentary on Bukharin is also mixed, but opposition for the sake of resistance has to be done. After all, people do not think about the su subtleties of it. The subtleties of it. How's the fact of the economy? Ooh, 0.27. 91.7. It went up. I like the curve. I like a little bit more curve in my life. Uh, unexpected event. The party's determined to recover Mongolia, but Veselovsky is not stupid. While we're recruiting a public opinion. Oh, crap. Uh, the Soviet Red Army troops were also converging or covering the border between the two countries, and emergencies were expected, right? Veselovsky's right here. Yeah. Y'all better get the crap over there. Quickly. Has Burgundy finally done it? Well, they might have. Okay, so we don't want to get that. That sucks. Okay, we can just split someone else then, maybe. Come on, my god. No sense for here to split someone else. So, what we can discipline these guys? Oh, we lost stuff. Oh, central faction. Okay. We can work way more construction speed. Factions under discipline are reflecting mistakes besides the $150 million in reserves to stop the faction's wrong decisions have been spent. Oh. Weekly spend and more support. Oh. Well, that's not good. Maybe I should discipline them then. I'm not sure we're really ready for that. Uh, never heard. Uh, the war of the, with the Soviet Red Army finally gave us a glimpse of the power of modern warfare on the battlefield. Our soldiers scattered on the side of the flying helicopters, not knowing how to respond, and became live targets for machine gun fire. We had to learn from our mistakes and use warfare to gain knowledge and learn how to deal with them. After all, the base air did not produce av aviation gasoline, and helicopters did not become our deadly weapon. How many divisions they got? I'm literally just letting time go on. Oh, they have five. That's not bad. Um, well, we'll see. That's unfortunate right there. Recruit traitor. Vasilevsky had many Mongols under command who did not want to be held hostage by the Russians and intended to stand on their own. The party can promise some future positions within the Mongolian government in exchange for the loyalty and become insiders. We don't possess too, uh, we don't have too many high expectations for this plan because in the eyes of Mongolians, the situation has not changed much since we eliminated the Zendambal and occupied Mongolia in the place of the Japanese invaders. United, unified Mongolia. After the recovery of West Mongolia, the entire Mongolia was ret finally returned to China. Although we may have given up many valuable things during this chaotic period, we have the victory that is worth celebrating. Oh boy. Hopefully. Dig deeper. In another place of construction, the soldiers do not have the enthusiasm of the past. All of them are silent, holding lifts and picks, mechanically waving their arms to dig the trench. Their eyes are dull and their lives are all pinned on it. When the vast step without tall vegetation or intricate hills and rocky outcrops was an excellent terrain for the Air Force ground sport, as far as the eye could see. Vasilevsky did not give any face to the Chinese, and once the battle started, he immediately launched his giant weapon, the land air helicopter, to greet them. Based with the air threat, the Chinese Red Army was powerless to fight back and could only lie down and die when they encountered the helicopters, in addition to heavy machine gun fire. The Red Army did not have any anti aircraft weapons, not to mention the battlefield air defense system. If the air defense machine gun did not shoot a few rounds, the helicopter's rocket would be overturned, and the machine gun was also in the situ situation to kill. Yesterday, the 9th Company made an enemy attack and sacrificed half its men. If you want to live, dig the ditch deeper. Iron wing, fragile body. Yeah, quite a bit of growth here. Not bad. I, I'm sure that most of the divisions are based around here. 
up here. Create a traitor. Because their divisions are probably not bad at all. Ah, found him. Can you get a Kaizo? They too believe in horses. If that's all we need, that'd be great. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I think we'll leave there. Wait, what? What are you doing? Go this. Oh, you stupid idiot. Go that way. Circle them there, that's good. No. I mean, it won't cut us off, but I want to cut this division off and make sure that they all die. Good God, we need more factories. Please kill off at least one division, man. Okay, woo, we got him. Well, some. Well, we got Western Mongolia at the very least, so that's good. And then purge Mongolian separatists. Our inner Mongolia public security department found in the mail a letter from Ulanu in the name of the Second Congress of the Inner Mongolian People's Revolutionary Party to the Mongolian counter-revolutionary leader Zindimbald, which viciously attacked and cursed our party and demanded the merger of inner outer Mongolia. Uh, to uncover the lid of this nationalist treasonous group, we're prepared to launch an attack by combining a significant people's war with a particular case. According to the specific situation of each person in this group, we selected Gainzab, Batu Erdan Takutau, Te Bushin, Wang Glai, Manila, and others as a focus and immediately detained and I said the four Mongolian dignitaries. And for the rest of the people concerned, the masses were organized to carry out the raid. This case involves a wide range of people, and it must be kept secret at a specific time. When the problem is further investigated, they take appropriate measures to prevent accidents. Bear the consequences. Finally finish with whatever the cost. And everything ends. The building is quashed, allowing us to take a short break to kill if we can conscientiously decide the direction of the policy and carry out our next operation. Hopefully this rebellion teaches some lessons, but I think we'll end it here for the first episode. This is a very interesting mod. I love what the dubs have done with this for in terms of like the Congress and whatnot and like items and stuff like this. This seems very cool. So if you enjoyed the very first episode of this campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see what else we can do with the Northwest National Defense Front. Thanks for watching. Have a great Mao Zedong rest of your day.